Hey everybody, I'm back again. Hope you guys are enjoying your fall projects. This is about 700 square feet that I seeded last year. It used to be full of sand from an above ground pool and I seeded it pretty well. I did a video on that earlier this year, but just kind of wanted to show you a little bit about the issues I'm having with this quack grass. It's kind of taking over in some spots here. Now this, this side here gets a lot of shade because of this tree and then that tree over there so this area gets about half sun, half shade, but most of this area stayed stayed pretty wet because I had to seed it, of course, keeping it wet twice a day at least for about two weeks. It's gonna promote some of that quack grass growth and easy way to identify, look at this, it's, it's a lot taller than the rest of the grass and the surrounding grasses. So there's some clumpy areas like right here and it kind of curves out. Some of the blades, they don't grow straight up. It just kind of, it grows straight up and vertical obviously, but the leaves kind of fall down like that. Uh, there's a few more sections over there, but I wanted to show you some identifying factors. Some people think it could be uh, nut sedge, which I initially thought it was, but that has more of a lime green color and it more straight up and um, up and down shoot. So it's got like more of a V shape to it. Um, I pulled up this, you're not really supposed to pull this up because it can grow uh, pretty substantially. The roots on this can grow up to 24 inches underneath horizontally and then up to eight inches below the ground. So um, I wanted to pull some of this up, unless you can get it for the full roots. These rhizomes here can just reproduce and you can have double the problem. So biggest identifying factor that I found, it's got this, um, you see where the stem, let me see if I can get a good angle out. You see where that white part is right there, I'm zooming in on. So that's actually the biggest factor that you can tell that this is quack grass. The st where the stem actually meets the blade, it's got that white spot. It's actually called a clasping oracle. So it kind of hugs the stem a little bit. So that's how I was able to identify it specifically. Some of these you know, weedy grasses are kind of hard to identify or very similar to others. But supposedly this stuff is actually one of the first to um, come out of dormancy in the spring from what I was reading. But uh, it's a very hardy root system and you can actually use glyphosate to kill it but keep in mind if you're using that it's going to kill some of the surrounding grasses you can use some other selective herbicides just check the label and see you know or you can just look up specifically what's going to kill quack grass there are some herbicides that will but i wanted to show you a little bit about what it looks like and how to identify it in your yard so that's pretty much it there's really not much else to the video but i hope you uh found this pretty helpful and useful and stay tuned for more videos please be sure to like and subscribe Thanks again for watching.